If you have ever tried web scraping for data only to get blocked, throttled or buried under captcha, you know the struggle, right? Well, that's where Tor data comes into play. Tor data is an all-in-one proxy and web scraping data platform built to help developers, businesses and AI teams collect large-scale data seamlessly. It combines high-performance proxy infrastructure, smart scraping tools and even ready-made data sets so you can focus on insights instead of spending time fighting anti bot systems. At its core, Tor data offers a massive network of over 60 million residential IPs spread across 195 plus countries, letting you access data from virtually anywhere. So you can choose from residential, data center, ISP or mobile proxies depending on your speed, reliability or geo-targeting needs, all optimized for uptime and performance. But proxies are just one part of the story. Tor data also provides powerful scraping APIs like the SERP API for search engine results and a universal web scraper API that mimics real human browsing to bypass blocks and extract clean structured data at scale. So if you're building anything that relies on large scale web data, Tor data might be the tool that you've been waiting for. And now let's take a deeper look at Tor data to see all the proxy options that they have along with all the scraping tools. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Tor data and this right here is the platform that I've been talking about. And if you do want to use Tor data, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to thordata.com and you can sign up for a new account. And they even have a free trial that you can make use of even without entering any credit card information. So if you want to try the platform out, well, you have options. And as you can see, it says easy access to web data at scale, perfect for AI. And it says they have a global network of over 60 million residential proxies with around 99.7% availability. And if I scroll through the page, I can find all the different proxies that they have like mobile proxies, residential proxies, static ISP proxies, data center proxies, and even high bandwidth proxies. So Tor data primarily has like two different set of tools or two, you can actually use it for two different applications. First of all, they have all these proxies that you can instantly start using in just a single click. And not just that, they also have scraper APIs that you can instantly start using as well. So first thing first, head over to the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account. And now I'll quickly log into my account. And there you go. Right now I'm logged into my Thor data dashboard. And once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And towards the left side, you can find all the proxy and scraping tools that they have within this platform. And as mentioned earlier, you can get almost all kinds of proxies that you will ever need. So towards the proxy section, towards the left sidebar, I can find all the different options that they have, including residential proxies, high bandwidth proxies, mobile proxies, static ISP proxies, and data center proxies. And now depending on your exact use case, you might want to use a different kind of a proxy, right? For example, let's say I want to use residential proxies. Well, all I have to do is to click on this option that says residential proxies. And now I can configure all the settings like the username and password. I can set a limit. Then I can set the location settings. I can select a continent. For example, let's say I want to get a proxy from, let's say US. So I can select North America as the continent and country. I'll just select it as, let's say, United States and then I can select a state for example let's say Washington DC and then a city let's say Washington and I can even select a ASN as well for example let's say cloud flaring and you get fine gained controls as to what proxy you want to use so you can configure all these parameters in here and there you go I have configured one right and based on the configuration that I did my proxy is already live and I can start using it instantly it is as easy as that and if I go to the code example section I can get code to incorporate the same into my application or start using it right away here we have HTTP HTTPS and SOX5 and again, if you want to add more users to the same, you can click on the users button right here. You can click on this add option right here and configure the username, password, status, traffic limit, and you can add more users and start using it. And once you start using the proxy, if you move to the statistic tab, you'll be able to find full details about the statistics. And now if I move over to the pricing tab, I'll be able to get all the pricing related info for this residential proxy as well. In a similar fashion, if I want, let's say high bandwidth proxies, well, I can select this option. And as you can see, it says unlimited traffic, unlimited IP extractions, over 47 million IPs available. And if I want to start using the same, I can instantly start using it right within Tor data. And as you can see, it is apt for web scraping at scale, AI or LLM training and validation, multi-account social and email marketing and ad and click fraud detection. And next up, we have mobile proxies that are apt for use cases like search monitoring, market research, social media management. So you get native IP addresses for 4G and 5G networks. Next up, we have static ISP uh, proxies. For example, let's say you want a static IP address 
for a long time well you can opt to go with static isp proxies and the common use cases for such kind of ips are multiple account management market research ad verification and cyber security and finally you also have data center proxies as well so if you're looking for affordable data center proxies well thought data is all that you will need and again for ad verifications seo monitoring social media automation and market research you can use this and the good thing is that you only pay for what you use so that's one incredible feature of thor data so basically these are all the proxy options that you have within thor data so all you have to do is to sign up on thor data select the proxy that you want to use and then for each individual per specific purpose, you will need to select either of these uh, proxy services like mobile proxy, static, high bandwidth, residential or data center. And you can select the same and you can configure the parameters and start using it right away. So that is for the proxies part. And now my favorite feature of Thor data has to be the scraping features. So as you can see in the scraping section, I can find SERP API and universal scraper API. And if I click on SERP API, I can directly start scraping Google or any other search engine for like instantly. For example, let's say I want to search Google for a particular keyword. Well, I can click on this option right here. And as you can see, I can select the search engine that I want to scrape. So here I have a lot of options like Google, Bing, Yandex and DuckDuckGo. In this case, let's say I want to search Google. And I can even select the search type as well. So here we have search, news, trends, etc, etc. I'll keep it as search and click on confirm. And next up, all you have to do is to enter your search query in here. For example, I can type something like, let's say lead generation. I can select the device type. I can select the output format. I can select the uh, localization settings, country, language. Okay. Geo targeting, search type, pagination. I can configure all that advanced settings in here. And as soon as I clicked on the start scraping button, I can find an output in here with all the links and all the data. So for each of these, I have like details such as let's say title, the position display link. Then I have the fab icon. I have the uh, snippet. I have the, I mean, pretty much all these details are in here and I can also find a preview of the output towards the right side as well. And if you want to start using it, you can click on this input option right here. And for example, let's say I want to incorporate the scraping into one of my Node.js based applications. I can select the Node.js option and then I can copy it and start using it right away. And if I click on this uh, get started button right here, I can generate an API key and start using it right away. And if I move over to the statistics section right here, I'll be able to get all these statistics related to this particular API. So basically you can use SERP API to scrape search engines like Google, Bing, Yandex and DuckDuckGo without any technical configuration. And next up, if I click on this option that says universal scraping API, this is what I can use to scrape pretty much any website of choice. For example, let's say I want to scrape a particular website as if I'm from UK. And for example, okay, let's keep it as google.com. And now I can click on start scraping option. And again, you have the option to configure all these advanced settings in here. So here I have provided the URL of the site that I want to scrape and I clicked on the start scraping button and let's wait for it. All right. So there you go. The scraping was successful and it says 200 successful. And if I click on this HTML option, I can find the scraped content and I can even download the same in a similar fashion. All you have to do is to select the, uh, protocol and after that you can enter the website url which you want to scrape and then you can configure all these parameters and click on the scrape button and you can start scraping any website for that matter and again you have the option to select the country and the proxy that you want to use for scraping the website and if i click on this input option again i can select and get the code for any platforms like go node.js java php ruby for example let's say i want python i can select python and there you go i get the code and now i can instantly start scraping content from the web right within my application and next up in the web scraper API section, here we have a couple of things like web scraper store. And if I click on the same, it will now open up a marketplace or a web scraper store where I can find ready-made APIs that I can instantly start using. For example, let's say I want a Indeed job listing scraper. Well, all I have to do is to select this one from here and I can instantly start using it right away. As easy as that. So I can provide the Indeed link and then I can scrape it directly. Or let's say I want to use a eBay information scraper or Instagram profile scraper, X profile scraper or Glassdoor company review information scraper. I mean, this right here is actually a web scraper store where you can find ready-made APIs that are ready to be used. So you can actually go ahead and click on one of these. For example, let's say I want to use Instagram real information scraper. Well, I can select the same and start using it instantly. And finally, we also have web data sets right within Thor data as well. And it says explore a diverse marketplace of ready-made clean and enriched data sets to empower your business. So basically the idea is that here we have a lot of pre-collected web data sets that you can instantly access. For example, here we have a lot of related to Amazon, 
like e-commerce stuff like amazon bestseller products then we have social media profiles youtube profiles instagram then we have linkedin company informations google map information then we have hotel listing real estate listings and all that for example let's say i want to find or let's say i want to get a data set related to amazon best seller products well i can select the same and now i can find this sample data in here so these are all the information that i'll have it's pretty comprehensive okay and as you can see the total record is that it has over 121 million records think about it so though data itself has done the heavy lifting or the heavy job of collecting all this data and now it is neatly arranged in here and now i can directly get access to it in just a single click and again if i head back i can find various other data sets including youtube profiles instagram post etc okay so here we have youtube it's as easy as that and next step let's just take a look at some of the use cases of using the universal scraping api and maybe also explore one of the apis from the web scraper store for example here i have opened up amazon and i searched for a keyword that is laptop and now i can copy this url right here and i can replace the url in tor data like this and after that i can select the output format whether i want to take the output in html or png i'll show both but in this case i'll keep it as html and if you want to let's say remove and clean the output you can actually do it from here so in this case i don't want js and css so i'll just exclude that and if you want to block javascript images or videos you have the option for that too but in this case i need images so i'll keep it i'll put the country as united states just like that and after that okay selector so if you want to uh, select any specific element within this page you have the option so you can get the selector and after that enter that in here so rest of everything looks good and i want html so i'll click on start scraping and let's wait so there you go the api response is successful and here we have the output so we selected html and if i move to the html tab right here there you go here we have the clean data without any gibberish like let's say css or javascript all of these are actual textual content and we also have all these html elements as well and another cool thing is that if you want to take a screenshot and get the output in let's say like a png format you can select the png option and then maybe i can start scraping again so basically you can replace the url in here with pretty much any url and if you select the png as the output option you can get a png version that is the screenshot of any uh, page so let's wait for it so there you go here the scraping is successful and right now i can find the full screen page screenshot in png format in here and if i want to i can download it and start using it as well so as you can see here we have the download button so this is basically how you use the universal scraping api next up if i go to let's say the web scraper store let's just try to use one of these apis or let's say scrapers in here so yeah for example let's just say i want to use the instagram profile scraper so i'll just open it up and after that in the parameters it takes the instagram username so here i have entered my profile username in here and now all i have to do is to click on the start scraping button right here and okay let's just wait for it so there you go it is successful and i can download it as json and maybe open it up real quick and there you go here we have the scraped results so here we have the name the profile picture url the biography hashtags profile uh, followers count the actual content from the profile so all of that is in here and in a similar fashion you can head back and use pretty much any of these pre-built ones for example let's say x profile scraper so let's just try to use it okay so here we already have like two of them i'll click on start scraping and let's see so there you go here we have it and i can download it in json again open it up and this right here is the profile results and here we have the url id profile name biography verification status and all other details in here so it is as easy as that so this is how simple it is to use all these scraping apis directly from tor data so basically this right here is tor data and these are all the options and tools that you have within tor data so whether you're looking for a residential high bandwidth or let's say data center isp or even mobile proxies or if you want serp api or universal scraping tools and even find data sets well tor data is all that you will need and as I shown you in this video, everything is plug and play. And in a couple of clicks, you will have your proxy ready or you can even instantly start using all these all scraping APIs as well. And if you do want to use Thor data, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below. Head over to thordata.com. You can sign up for a new account and start using it immediately. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.